really good one for this lake. Wow. Nice. see them come up off the bottom and get a scratch. What's up, big guy? The size of that one. Perfect in my line. I got a eight pound fire line I like to use. If I go, I, I, I really enjoy being able to feel the bite. And if I use mono and fluorocarbon, I just can't feel these fish. And I put a fluorocarbon or mono leader on the end, um, typically 20 pound mono. And I buy true leader so it's stiffer. And that keeps the spoon from flipping up and grabbing the line as much. Um, because I don't spoon like I'm supposed to spoon. Basically, when you snap, you're supposed to hold it for just a, you know, a quick second before you go back down. And then that'll keep it from flipping up as much. But I don't like to worry about that. I like to spoon however I want to spoon. So I put the stiff leader on there. And sometimes when it gets bad, I'll put 40 pound, even 60 pound on there. You know, like if I'm fishing with a kid or something that's inexperienced, I'll put a 60 pound leader on. Uh, you know, tie it right to this 8 pound. And I got 20 pound on my other pole, and the fish don't care. The walleye don't care. I don't care what people say. Maybe you catch less, but in these stained lakes, they don't care. I don't, clear lakes, it might matter, but around here, it don't. Bunch of fish. Half ounce Banks Fire Tiger is my favorite color for these stained waters. 20 pound mono, again stiff, true leader. And then actually on this one I took the swivel off that comes with the Binks and I used it up here, moved it up here to tie my uh, fire line to my mono leader instead of doing a back to back uni knot, but you can do a back to back uni knot if you're small with both fluorocarbon and mono to braid or fluorocarbon and mono to fire them. Looks like my fish left. Oh, no, there's still a few down there.
too on these white bass you don't need to see them on your fish finder in my in my experience um like this point's pretty good actually i never caught anything off this point until this year and every time i come here i find white bass it's been the best spot on the lake for me. but uh if you got a spot that's pretty good even if you go over the top of it and you don't see any any schools of white bass in my experience you can still pick up a few loose fish you know i don't know if their buddies just don't like them or why they're running solo but you know i should be able to come here anytime i mean pretty soon they'll be leaving because it's getting winter uh but should be able to come here anytime and pick up a couple of white bass and probably the easiest way if you're not fishing schools is just anchor or hit spot lock at the tip of the point Cast up shallow like that. You know, I'm in 24 foot of water. You can throw these things a mile. I bet you I just threw it to six foot deep. I'll spin it all the way back to the boat. Even if there's not a school of white bass here, there'll still be a few of them. And you can catch a couple fish or you can catch a big walleye like that. 